Hello, I am Susie, and I have been a nail technician for 35 years, and I was addicted to square for 28. And in my world, there's a difference between square and really square and super square. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do super square. Let's get started. Okay, my nails, I don't have any on right now. I just have short little natural nails. It might be a sliver of product on them, but for the most part, they're naked. So yeah, I have except built- Except for the big one right there. Yeah. <laughs> you noticed that, did you get rid of it? Yeah, it doesn't look naked. Uh, is that the way it looks normal? Except for this one, I'm getting to the point. I've sculpted this nail on so we can just get to the shaping and the filing because that's what makes a nail square, of course. I mean, initially you wanna lay it down. You can't lay it down almond and put in, well, you kinda could. <laughs> But it's a lot more work. So you, I'm just going to say we lay down the square. That's what we're doing is a square nail. And if you want to know, I have combined my three colors of foundation pink, pink tint, and soft white all in one to create this nail. I absolutely love it. And I mainly did it because I wanted you to see it against the darker cloth. You can really see the edges. But I actually fell in love with the color. So I'm going to file down the bulk first. And then we're going to start shaping. I did square nails for 28 years years, almost every single day, all the time. I absolutely loved it and I just became an expert at it. So right now I've got this longish square. I'm going to determine my length. And I'm going to file the bulk and I'm going to start shaping the nail, get it the nail exactly where I want it to be. Then we're going to fine tune it. So let's get ourselves a medium or a coarse file. I usually use coarse when I want to take some product off and make some shape. So I've taken on the bulk and it's pretty much square. If a client's not too particular, you can just make sure that you file the sides completely parallel. That's the first thing with square. Make sure it's, see that? Don't, don't bend it like this way at all or this way. You want to make sure it's completely parallel. And if it's not sitting against the nail parallel, Hold the file parallel, keep pressing as you file, and it will become parallel, okay? You wanna do that on both sides. So it's very, very accurately square. Then we wanna take the free edge, you wanna hold it like this, and you wanna go square, okay? And of course, we're gonna trim up underneath, okay? I'm just going underneath, getting rid of that. Okay, so most part you could do that and then you can leave it and off they go. If you're finding it's looking a little bit bulky, what's happening is this will drive you crazy. This took me some time to figure out. So if you know what I'm talking about, you've been there. When you're going straight and you're going straight on both sides and then you still look at it and it's like, why does it look like this is the nail and you're looking at it down this way, like down this way, this is what it is, but it looks a little bit bulky. Yet your ends are quite square and the base looks quite square, but it looks square, but it's just a little bit bulky in here. It's just a little, oh, this is exaggerating, right? So it's just almost, but just a little bit puffy. Why is that? Because if you look down the barrel this way, you'll see that you may be straight on the sides, but if you start to see the height of the nail near the apex, it's getting thicker on top as the nail goes up for the apex, it's also becoming puffy, almost like a muffin top, right? So even though your sides are totally straight, look down the barrel, I can even hold my finger over and you can see, yuck, like the end, this is the free edge, that's obviously too thick, but look down this apex, see how, thick it is here and how thick it is here, that's what we want to take down. Almost for exaggeration, almost like a peak, but we're going to bring it up like this, right? So the sides are like, if you look down the barrel of the nail this way, you're looking down that barrel and you're seeing puffy sides. If you bring that in like that, you're going to take away those sides and get rid of that muffin top. That alone will change your nail game as far as square goes. That'll really, really help a lot. So how I fix that, 
is I take my, I'm looking straight down the barrel like this and I take the file, see that? And I file that part, okay? And when you do that, you're not touching the side See how you're going straight down the side like that? If you lean your file in, at the same time, you will take care of that bulk, but you won't be touching the actual side. So what that looks like is, I'm going like this. So I'm just taking off that top part, okay? That's one of the first steps to getting a super square nail. And you can do that near the bulk part of the nail on the nail plate and you can do it on the free edge, okay? So do that all the way along the side and get it perfectly, no muffin top on there. Okay, so if I look down the side now, I've taken away a whole bunch there and I'm gonna take more to make it look even more delicate. Sometimes it helps to hold it against a light so you create a complete shadow and then you can really, really see like, ah, uh, there's the bump. And I'll do that on both sides. So I'm gonna remove that bulk on both sides and taper it right in. So I'm not coming up like this, like a puffy muffin top. I'm coming in right away, smooth right away. That will change your whole square shape. Okay, now that was with my coarse file and that's gonna take away a lot of product. Now I'm gonna hit it with my medium file and I'm just gonna try to smooth it over a little bit to give me a more accurate of what my more finished look will be. Okay, so let's get rid of some dust. Now let's get a look down the barrel here. See, we got a complete half circle now and or maybe that would be like a third of a circle. No, well, maybe it's a half circle, but you can see how smooth it is now. And if I bend it a little bit, you can see how your muffin top is now completely gone away. And that's not finished yet. We still have to do some fine tuning, but that's given you the shape that you want. And look how smooth that is. We've got no muffin happen over there. Okay, we can look at it sideways. I can take away a little bit of bulk here on the top and I can smooth out and we can even go underneath a little bit if we wanted. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I can look at that and that's that square and that's the pretty nice square but we can even fine tune it because to me, I feel like it's a little, little bit wide right here. So the end is good. This end is good. This end is good. It's just a little bit wide in here. So I'm going to take my file and I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. What it looks like with the file is I could put a sanding band in here now because I don't want to take away too much. This is really starting to fine tune it. Okay, so I'm gonna not, it's not very high RPMs on this, maybe six, five or six. And I'm just gonna go over the nail back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This back and forth motion will create an extremely even smooth nail. You can do it one way, but why waste that time? You might as well do a double time. Go back and forth, back and forth. Now you can even, after you've done that, you can start to examine and see if it's where you want it to be. It's pretty darn good. Now as far as that little side that I was worried about, you can take the e-file and you can literally, like I showed you with the hand file, you can just do it on an angle ever so slight, but don't touch the free edge, the very corner. See this corner? I'm not going to touch that with my file. I'm just touching this spot in here. That's the only spot I'm focusing on. And I'll do the same on this side. I'm not touching this corner. I'm just focusing in on that one spot. You could do it this way too, just slightly feather. Okay, and once you're happy with that, it's looking pretty square, then I'm gonna go over top of the whole thing once again. I'm gonna just soften the cuticle. Okay, we're not finished yet. 
Okay, so the free edge, that really sells a super square. I'm looking at this nail right now and it's like, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. That's a beautiful square nail. I am not unhappy with that. A uh, client will walk away and I've done them, many of them like this, but it's not super square. And what I'm looking at is the extreme free edge. When you are filing for a super square, this is the weirdest thing. So if I look at that free edge right now, it is pretty good, but that free edge needs to be straighter. It's just a little bit, to exaggerate, it's a little bit puffy. It's kind of, it's kind of to me, it's going, it's kind of not super straight. It's like, if this is super straight, it's just bending just a little, just a little. So the best way to do that is you look, it's hard for you right here, but look straight down on it. When you're filing your free edge this way, when you're doing a square, the more you angle your file toward you, the more round the corners are going to become. Because if you hit the corners, like if I just hit the corners, like if I turn it up like that and I show you that I just, see if I just hit those corners, I'm going to smooth it right out and it's going to be a square with a round soft corners. But if I take it like this and I start filing it this way, you want to go as straight as you possibly can. And this sounds really weird, but you almost lean it in a little. Like to exaggerate, lean it this way. So this way makes it rounder. This way makes it squarer. So just, just a tad, just tad, tad, tad. Lean it in like that, just a little bit. And that makes it super, super square. That is super square. You see that? That just made it super square. I love that. That's what some clients used to come to me for. That's super, super square. Now, two or three weeks later, four weeks later, five weeks later, when they came back for a fill, it is softened a little bit because wear and tear, every time they hit something, will soften it down a little bit. We would call it sharp square. Clients loved it. Check out the reveal shots on all of them. If you wanna catch me building some square right from scratch, take a look at this video where I do long acrylic nails and I build the entire nail and then I do some beautiful designs. Check it out. Mm -hmm.